throw haze to over summer this year. Watch through fine changes, water through me out. Cage round these walls, we grim those words with doubt. People racing can get out. Can slow it down. They're coming for our words. Oh, you, how you know what it feels like to run. Oh, you, how you know what a hurt. My name's Dave Grange. I have a fruit shop in Stokesley High Street. It's been in the family for a long, long time. It's a family-run business. <laughs> How many oranges you say? Six? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm Jackie Freeman. I own the Cobblers in Stokesley with my husband Rail Partners. My name is Michael Brown. Um, I'm a, an independent news agent. Uh, I've been trading in Stokesley for 23 years. Um, we've just weathered one of the harshest recessions in living memory. Um, it's been a hard four years. It's still quite difficult trading. And I imagine if a supermarket development occurs on the outskirts of Stokesy, it'll be even more difficult to trade successfully as an independent in the future. Um, uh, my name's Jane, I'm uh, one of the owners of Bexter's Tea Room with my partner Neil. Uh, we took over running Bexter's in June 2013. Um, part of that was because we'd recently moved to Stokesy just a couple of years ago and like the idea of um, being involved in something that we thought was really a, a nice community uh, business. Well, Brian Moat, Managing Director of Stokesley Motors. We've been here 57 years. Uh, I've been here probably 30 odd. Uh, the reason, the, the main opposition to the supermarket is it's obviously going to ruin the high street. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Mark Pearson, Pearson's TV and Electrical. Uh, we've been here since 1978. I've been in the business 10 years. Uh, I think a supermarket will have a massive detrimental effect on the town, like it has on countless towns right the way throughout the country. We took over Bexley's in June 2013, and from that there was no mention whatsoever about a, a possible supermarket. And certainly for us that would have had a, a major impact on us deciding whether to open um, the tea room. And from ours as well, we, we do think that having the supermarket will have a major impact on the business that we have. Um, we do serve a lot of people from the local community, but we also have people who come from outside of the area um, who sort of pass by and, and sort of pop into the shop. And, you know, having a supermarket here, I think, is just a real negative for the, for the local area and the local economy. It's always been busy, always busy. Uh, but if this new supermarket goes ahead, uh, it's got to have an effect, like I said, on everybody else, especially the food. Um. I'm not against competition, and, and we've weathered many storms in Stokesley. What I am against is uh, corporate business who have deep pockets. We don't want this supermarket, because it will just totally destroy the fabric of the high street. Jobs will be lost, and we don't want these multinationals coming into these lovely little villages and destroying everything around them. Which obviously we're totally against it, it won't do our business any good what, whatsoever. I believe that the supermarket will have a real detrimental effect to, to Stokesley and particularly to Stokesley High Street. Um, one of the main attractions of, of Stokesley is its local shops and I think the supermarket will draw away from that and just have Stokesley as another bypass um, bypass town which is which is not what we want. We, we want people to come to the high street to use the local facilities and to come and use 
um, you know, the fantastic things that we, we offer here. There's a lot of footfall here and we don't want any taken away from here. Well, there'll be definitely less footfall. I mean, if people are, are going around the, the outskirts of Stosey to a supermarket, they're certainly not going to venture down the high street. You know, they'll just totally bypass the town and go straight there. So it's certainly not a good idea. If it, if it was, if we were selling food and uh, fruit and meats and stuff like that, and there was a big supermarket open up down the road, uh, I would like. I'd be worried. So there are people who come here on spec just to sort of come to the high street um, and if that's taken away we, we think it'll have a major impact particularly if they offer things like the local services of you know having the bakery counter and the butchers and also a small cafe area um, that will obviously have an impact. I mean people people go to out of town shopping centres and they get all the shopping there so they'll get their uh, bakery, uh, their meat, possibly their newspapers, their lottery um, then it will certainly affect those businesses that offer uh, those products. Um, and we are fighting it very strongly. But I think if the plans are passed, the main question needs to be, with the amount of opposition, why? And I just don't believe that it's a, it's a level playing field. I mean, I've always tended to do my own, my own thing and ignore um, the competition because we have unique selling points in home news delivery and confectionery but there comes a point where you feel you know you're in battle too much um, against big business. Well I think this shop is offering a service that the big supermarkets can never compete with. I've just purchased a very small amount of sake sweets for somebody who's very ill and in a supermarket I'd have to get them in a big polythene bag and they wouldn't be able to sort out by size what the patient needs so that he picked out all the right little ones rather than big ones and please keep this shop. If somebody wants a supermarket Tesco is only four miles away so. We moved from sort of quite a, a busy um, estate which had its own local supermarket and that's not what we really wanted um, for our children to grow up with. We wanted a small community setting um, with lots of local shops and businesses um, that we support as part of Bexter's as well, and um, long may that continue. One, we don't need an out-of-town supermarket, and two, we don't want an out-of-town supermarket. Thanks. I mean, there's already two here. There's, still, there's a little co-op there, and there's a big co-op down the road there. Um, and then you've got all the fruiters and two butchers as well. We, we don't really need any more. We've got everything we need in stock, so we don't need anything else. Um, and I suppose one question that needs to be answered is why Terence Hill need to convince people we want a supermarket because if everybody's against it I suppose the answer's no. And that's, that's why we're against it, just totally wreck all the businesses down the high street. Well we've had the shop 21 years but it's been, a, uh, it's been in our family since 1939. Since 1939. Stokes is a market town and wants to continue to thrive uh, independently. My name is Natalie Collins. Um, I have a business here, Chunk Chocolates, and I work at Stokesley Farmers Market once a month. Um, I think that the supermarket would basically not complement, the business itself would need to complement the existing businesses within Stokesley, and to have the supermarket actually wouldn't complement them at all. Our market has just won Market of the Year, the, the best uh, farmers market in the whole of the UK um, and why would you want to have a supermarket that would overtake the business um, of this fantastically successful market it just would not complement what is existing here already the time I took a rose aside didn't look awful babe. my pocket phone pedals dropped and it Community. There's far too many supermarkets. You need independent markets where people have variety and choice. Because all the supermarkets are And same. even you're saying that. Mm -hmm. And you come here. And I come here. Is a perfect reason. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's the thing. And it's, it doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. 
there's enough supermarkets now. We've got a massive supermarket anyway that does enough for it's us. It's every town is the same though with all these supermarkets and people want individuality. Come to this market, I've do quite a lot of shopping actually in Stokesley. I even buy my shoes at the shoe shop here because it's again individuality. Yeah. And that's what people want. That's what you can go on and say all sorts can't you? And carry on and carry on about these multinationals and places they've been to like Loftus and Skelton and places like that and totally destroyed the community you know there's nothing there anymore nobody goes and visits these places anymore and obviously you don't want that happening here do you? We're waiting for the Pipes and strings and so much more into the night rings out so strong waves and rivers D to carry on so much to think but the wait is so long perhaps I am a wounded crook best to rest and not to overlook the lies that I've made and the ones that I've heard in my time has been lost of mind and